of our defense, especially defending the guards? Um, it's, uh, it, was, it was a tough assignment. I mean, he's an NBA caliber player. Um, but we went back and uh, we watched the film of last game and saw how he, how he got most of his points. He uh, was getting to the line. So uh, we just try to take uh, some of his uh, drives away and try not to foul him. And uh, luckily, I mean, it works. So it is what it is. What was your like, strategy of going up against him? It seems like you were also uh, frustrated at some point in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just wanted to play hard, make it tough for him to make shots. Uh, keep him off the offensive rebounds. He, got a lot, he always gets like probably about 10 to 20 points off offensive rebounds and putbacks and all that. So my main focus was to keep the ball out of his hands, deny him, and then just box him out. And then hopefully we get the rebound from the other four guys. He's a, he's a all-around talent. You, just, you don't get those guys like that, NBA guys out here like that. And, uh, he played tremendous while he was out here. Cliff, that said, you, you, you guys held him scoreless in the second quarter. That should feel good for you guys. Uh, we held them what? You held them to score less in the second quarter. Yeah. Zero points. So yeah. that should definitely feel good. Oh, for yeah. Them. Yeah, it is. Because, I mean, if you look at the way that they were playing, he's their, their, their lifeline. Whenever he's going good, uh, St. Miguel's hard to beat. You know, so uh, we just try to really keep the ball out of his hands and make uh, everyone else beat us. And uh, we just stay focused on the game plan and just try to keep him limit to him, uh, limit him as much as possible. So, I mean, yeah, the zero points in the second quarter, I don't think he's ever been held scoreless in the quarter, so that's perfect for us. Yeah. Uh, there were some needed moments between you and Shabazz in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, was it a much effort for you to kind of get in, get in his head and disrupt his game? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I mean I'm out there to play defense and play hard. And uh, I know if uh, if there's a little slight advantage of me just trying to get in the other guy's head, keep him unfocused, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try, you know, take the best player away and then if, if he's worried about me and all my shenanigans then he's not focusing on the game that's perfect i'll take the win